What's going on guys, I'm Marty here, back at it again with your weekly Halo uh, store update. So this is just quickly what the ultimate challenge is. Um, I actually, in fact, I don't know what the ultimate challenge is because I haven't done a single challenge, but the ultimate reward is this buddy system emblem. Um, this is the third time it's come around, so we've already had it for the weapon, we've had an actual nameplate for it, um, and now we have the armor emblem. So the future one would obviously be the vehicle emblem, um, but for now we have the armor emblem as well. That is what your reward is going to be and then I'm assuming it's going to be in those three different colors like what uh, the previous ones have been. So I'll just quickly show you guys what the previous one looked like. I've only got it for the weapon um, because I missed on the other one. But this is what it looks like on my AR. And then you can change the color of it to green um, or blue and yellow I should say. So obviously red, black and white, blue, yellow and a lighter blue. Um, brown and white, grey and white with slight hints of green by the looks of it, um, light blue and white and then red, yellow and black and white. So overall it's pretty cool but I mean if you're just going to chuck it on your armour, for example I'm currently using Mark 7, I actually have an emblem on, to be fair mine is black, but it gets covered anyway by the chest so honestly I think that these emblems are kind of lame and not very good. It was cool when they used to be on your shoulder back in Halo 3 days, but unfortunately these days it is now on your chest, getting covered up by your armor. It just doesn't look that good. Just for reference as well, I also have the same emblem. Actually, no, in fact, I have a different emblem on my Mark 5B. Um, and just quickly, as you can see, it is currently there when I change to this. Um, but I'm using this uh, patrol chest and that is what it looks like clearly covering the emblem and then for the Uroi, the Uroi is in a bit of a better spot because it's down um, a little bit lower although if you do have a chest attachment as you can see it does either cover it a little bit or completely covers it so honestly um, if you are going to try and have like a week off of Halo and you don't want to miss out on any sick rewards uh, honestly I would say that this is probably the worst ultimate that you can get and in my opinion it's the worst ultimate reward um, that's actually come out so far so the armor emblem is pretty redundant as soon as you put extra armor on your chest and that is where the buddy system armor emblem isn't really that worth it in my opinion i will still get it but overall not very worth it um, and then these are my challenges for this week you guys can read them out for yourself if it'll take a little bit too long you can pause it if you want um, but overall, I do think that these challenges are quite easy. Um, and then you get the occasional one that's a little bit annoying. Like last week I had to get five kills um, on players that had killing sprees. And everyone that I'm bursting is trash and can't get a killing spree. So I re-rolled that one because they weren't getting killing sprees. Okay, this is what the shop's looking like for this week. Um, we'll just quickly look at the daily first. This is the daily bundle going for 500. Of course, it's going to be different tomorrow. Um, but I'm not covering every daily store. This is what we're looking at for the shaders. Um, we've also got the window attachment for the warthog. And then we've got a shader for the mongoose, gungoose, the razorback. And I forgot what the final thing is, rocket hog, I think. Yeah, rocket hog. And that's what they're looking like. Honestly, in my opinion, pretty ugly. But they're only 500 credits. So um, if you like them, then pick them up because they're relatively cheap in comparison to other things like this Anubis armor set this is the weekly store let's try this bad boy on this is what it looks like on my Spartan overall it looks pretty nice especially with that gold visor um, not my style but I'm sure some people will like it the Anubis helmet looks really nice in my opinion um, it's glitching out here because I've got a current attachment on my helmet but that's what it looks like glitched out let's check out what it looks like with the attachment that comes within the store so that's the store attachment. Honestly, I do actually think that this looks pretty nice, but it is 2K credits and that's uh, 30 AUD. So definitely not worth it for us in my opinion. Really nice looking visor though. Um, yeah, not really worth it. This is what the shoulders look like. Um, for 30 bucks, it's quite expensive. So that's what the shoulders look like. Quickly the knee pads, then bad boys. A little bit basic in my opinion. Overall for 30 bucks, not really worth it. And then it comes with this stance as well. The Vigilant Watch, it looks pretty nice. I will give it that. But for 30 bucks, that set is not worth it in my opinion. Then we'll move over to the Cool Guy. These are 
Um, little cheeky references, so who is Halo again, and then pretty cool is what the weapon charm is called. And then on it it says, he doesn't afraid of anything. So yeah, that's a funny one. Let's try it on, on my handgun, and that is what it looks like on the sidekick. Let's check out the rocket launcher, that's what it, we look like on the rocket launcher. Pretty nice on the rocket launcher, in my opinion, the Woodland Mystic is what these shaders are called. And overall, I actually do think that these look really nice. Um, they're 10, uh, 1,000 credits, and the MA40 AR doesn't want to show for some reason. There we go. Overall, not too bad, and it matches with the emblem quite nice on mine. So for 1K credits, that is going to set you back $20. Keep that in mind as well. $20, or oh, $15, sorry, or $30 for 2K. So overall, not incredible. And finally, we have this one as well. I should mention the Anubis is a re-release. They've already had this in the store. So clearly they don't actually have that much content. Guaranteed next week is probably going to be the soldier thing again, or maybe the Hazop um, armor. And that is what my prediction is going to be for the gold. But let's check out the purple weekly. We've got a Daisy Delight again, so it's this little teddy bear on the chest. I don't really know what this is um, referring to. But overall, pretty lame in my opinion, especially for 1.5k credits. Then we've got the flower. Bit of a funny troll, but everyone's already got the cat ears, so why use the flower and you've got the cat ears, am I right? Moving over to the chest, we've got the rose on the chest. Not too bad, but it does look very basic. Not too bad for some people, it depends on your taste. And then we have the thumper weapon charm, which is just a love heart charm. It's kind of like an amber thing, so overall not really worth it in my opinion and then we've got this um uh background emblem i forgot what these things are called but that's what we've got as well epic backdrop is what they're called um overall not really worth it 1.5k of course if you do want to get that then you have to spend the 30 dollars to get um the 1.5k unless you buy the 1500 individually Overall though, that is what the shop looks like, and just a quick reminder that this is what the ultimate reward is. I hope you guys do enjoy playing this week, and remember, have a skids one.